Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs on the Binding of Isaac. Got a weird one today! As you can probably tell from the horrible red nodule attached to the side of my eye here, this was originally to be called the Cyclops Run, uh, suggested by YouTube user Ben Barube. I hope I'm pronouncing your last name correctly there. Maybe Barube, who knows. Uh, but the uh, genesis of this run, the thematic point of this run, I suppose, is that we're meant to be a Cyclops. So first things first, we have four magic mushrooms which have made us huge. Uh, also, you know, contributed to uh, getting a lot of stat upgrades as well. Um, we have... What are the additional things? We have Polyphemus to give us one eye instead of two. And then Mom's Contact was intended to make the eye red. But unfortunately, it didn't really make the eye red. It actually just kind of... Uh, attach like a small red eye to our existing red eye, so it's more like a Biclops run. Uh, but you know, uh, we don't really say Biclops that often in the English language because we tend to just say normal. So in, in any case, just imagine that I only have one eye. Sometimes uh, the items don't necessarily interact in Isaac the way that you would expect them to. Now obviously, uh, we are insanely powerful right now. In particular, uh, four magic mushrooms have contributed to a lot of damage up. By the way, I went with Judas because otherwise I was like, with four magic mushrooms, that's like four health upgrades right off the bat. Uh, I'm gonna... I, I don't know how to balance this run. I'm gonna say that maybe only stat upgrades are allowed to be picked up, so something like uh, Cat of Nine Tails is okay, because shot speed up is something. Plus it makes our face look fucking grotesque, which is kind of awesome. Um, but yeah, it's something we're gonna have to balance actively on the fly. I think this is definitely gonna be one of those runs where the uh, first few floors are gonna seem really, really easy. But then after that, uh, you know, things can change. The problem with runs like this is that you get the, uh... Seriously? Three nickels in that treasure chest? That's amazing. Um, you, you get cocky early and then you decide, Oh, you know, I don't really think that I need to, um... Uh, pick up items anymore because I'm killing everything in one shot and then at the end of the game You're like well fuck I screwed myself over completely sadly I have no means with which to get into that boss trap room. It almost assuredly contains uh, An item that would upgrade our statistics of some some kind or our attributes if you will Now we're gonna do that pick up this heart actually we can't we might be able to run into an arcade And of course immediately after saying that I can now see every single room on this floor and realize that there is no card available for us here uh, and we cannot take Anything from the shop that is not a stats upgrade. I don't think anything you can even buy anything in the shop that is a stats upgrade. Are there any stats upgrades available in the shop? Jesus Juice is a damage upgrade. I'm going to take it. We might as well check out our deal with the devil just in case there's something amazing in here. Uh, I suppose I could take the mark, but I don't think that's a very prudent decision for me right now. I'm going to also say that for now, Book of Belial is not going to be able to be used for me. Maybe we'll say Book of Belial can start being used uh, once we get down to the womb and beyond. Because, uh, as of right now, we are already, like, four-shotting bosses by way of the fact that we have insane damage. And, of course, Jesus Juice is just gonna make that even easier. Polyphemus, plus four magic mushrooms, uh, plus Jesus Juice. Plus, I think Judas just has standard damage that is a little bit higher than, uh, the other characters. So, for right now, this is gonna seem super easy, but as time goes on, that might change a little bit. By the way, I'm, I'm skipping over item rooms as well. Uh... Stat, I mean, you can get stat upgrade items from uh, item rooms, but I think, uh, again, that might make it a little unfair. So we're going to say only boss room items that also give you stat upgrades. Sure, let's pop the stars card. I uh, just wanted to basically travel a little bit further. Tarot card's not really all that useful for me moving forwards, but I'm going to stick with Book of Belial because I think this could be in insanely valuable for us on later game bosses. Now, this might be a run that ends up being unfairly easy for me. But uh, I should stop being self-conscious about that, though, because I suppose it's probably getting a little bit annoying to hear about how, like, oh, this run could go either way. Uh, but what I will say is that I, I really, I picked this run because I thought it had a sweet kind of, like, visual element to it. It's not necessarily not holding true, uh, but it kind of sucks that the, uh... Oh, actually, you know what? We are a Cyclops now. I guess Taking Cat of Nine Tails uh, got rid of the... Oh, careful. Uh, Taking Cat of Nine Tails got rid of the like the mom's contact big red pimple on our eye, so now we actually are doing a true cycloptic run. So I don't have to be concerned about it anymore. Nah, nah, boo boo, troll engine, you cannot defeat me. Actually, you've defeated me fairly consistently over the past you know ten or so videos. So let's ignore that for now instead and move on. Again, catacombs here. Uh, didn't even notice that it was the catacombs because it's been so easy for me so far that I doubt anything is gonna really get into our way until we get to the womb and beyond, which, by the way, is the original quote from Buzz Lightyear. Uh, you can understand why Pixar took that out of the final release of Toy Story, though. To the womb and beyond! Buzz Lightyear suddenly becomes kind of a perv, or at the very least, a, an unusual young astronaut, shall we say. 
Uh, I'm trapped in the corner with this spider here, so I did take the first damage of the game so far. I'm really hoping to get some HP upgrades. It might seem like it's overkill at this point, because I already have 5 health. But that 5 health can be eroded pretty quickly as we get later and later into the game. So, double boss fights. First one is going to be Cubes of Meat uh, from Famine, which means I think that's going to be off the table for me, because those are not stat upgrades. As much as I would like to pick up an early Cube of Meat for a little bit of added defense, sadly I don't know if I could justify that under any circumstances. In the meantime, let's fight Peep here, which should not be so, so bad. Despite being huge, I think our hitbox remains small. So, like, the regular Isaac size. Maybe not, though. Uh, that is a stats upgrade. Tears and HP, which is fantastic. What's our deal with the Devil Room got here? Spirit of the Night and Monster Manuel. Neither of which I can take. Alright. We have a weird little... I guess that's supposed to be the unibrow, but because our eye's so big, it kind of looks like we're wearing an eye patch over our eye. Like a transparent eye patch. Which is all the rage these days. In Vienna, I promise you that. In any case, we're gonna wait for our pink glitch to work its way out of the system here. We are on the depths, and we are gonna be dealing with a double floor here, which is fantastic. Uh, sadly, this is going really quickly so far, and I feel like it runs that, that go quickly end in one of two ways. Either I beat the game quickly, or things go terribly, terribly wrong at like the last possible moment, uh, and, and I end up dying in like 30 seconds. That's happened before, runs where I got like really, f I went through the early floors really fast and all of a sudden, because it is a big step up in difficulty when you leave like these normal floors and then go down to the womb, and an even bigger step up in difficulty when you leave the womb and go down to the, uh, the cathedral. And another step up in difficulty when you leave the cathedral and go down to the chest. So you can be like very well prepared for one suite of floors, uh, but woefully unprepared for, for later ones. Uh, right now, I don't foresee that happening until at least the cathedral. Maybe the womb if uh, I play exceptionally badly. Keep in mind, I am capable of using my, uh... I don't know why I was just about to say 3DS there. I'm capable of using my Book of Belial. You know what? Let's put a bomb down here. I'm capable of using my Book of Belial once we finish off uh, this floor. Or this double floor, I suppose. It was a more accurate way to put it. I am having a serious amount of trouble hitting these guys, which is pretty embarrassing considering I do have Cat or Nine Tails as well. But they're finally dead. It's a big floor. Uh... Try to go to the left here right off the bat and maybe we'll get lucky. Killing Guts in one hit is a definite perk of having this much damage. Uh, and again, huge floor here. That's okay though. We're gonna get a little framey for a second. I think that happens like I have a rotating uh, desktop background, which was not my, uh, you know, impetus to put that on there. But it is on there. Uh, and every time it changes, we get like a, a 10 frames per second drop for like 3 seconds. I have no idea why that happens. Uh, you think the computer would be able to handle it? It might be an Isaac thing, it might be a Camtasia thing, it might be a, you know, computer thing. It might be Northern Lion is technologically, uh, idiotic kind of thing. But in any case. I almost got hit, actually, by that, uh, Eyeless Ooze guy there. You know what I would love right now is actually a Tears upgrade to vastly increase our rate of fire. Now the Tick is in there, so I just have to remember. Patrick Warburton hanging out in the other room there. The extra key will be valuable once we get down to the chest. Uh, you know, when it comes to the chest, let's not get ahead of ourselves, but, uh, I'll, I'll start deciding whether or not we're going to need to take all items in the chest or again adhere to only stat upgrades once we actually get down there because as of right now uh, it could go either way it's, it's looking really strong right now like we won't necessarily need to uh, deviate from our initial conditions but you know things change and my mama don't know won't hurt her so we're gonna take our key and our money and I think we're I'm starting to get the realization uh, that we are probably headed for a dead end here, unless I get exceptionally lucky, and there is uh, the boss room up here and to the left. It's probably unlikely, but stranger things have happened. I can't fire straight, apparently, which is really annoying. Uh, yes, this is a dead end, unfortunately. So, again, we'll continue steamrolling basically everything that gets in our way. And we don't want anything to do with that troll bomb, so we got a long way to go here. Book of Belial just sitting, patiently waiting. To eventually be used, but as is right now, we are basically one-shotting uh, almost every single enemy that we come across, which you know what? Is A-OK -okay by me. So we are going to check bottom right, just because we've already kind of opened up this area, so it makes more sense to check here than necessarily going up to the top right or um, middle right, neither of which have really been kind of cracked open so far. I want the key, but i got to wait for the creep to dissipate. That's always like the biggest test for me is... Oh, that was bad. Uh, it, it could get worse, actually. I, I seem to find it harder to dodge when I'm bigger sometimes because, well, I mean, I'm not only am I larger, but I, in my brain I kind of have like this Isaac space. Like, I have a con concept in my brain, or a construct, for how big Isaac is or how big Isaac should be, and uh, it totally fucks with it. 
not just because he's physically bigger, but because it kind of it's like a brain teaser that's constantly on, if that makes any sense. There's our boss room, good, we got kind of lucky to find it so quickly. But in any case, I imagine these are going to be two easy fights with the Devil card. I'll probably pop that on the mom boss fight, I'm assuming. In the meantime, uh, this should be a very easy fight against Monstro Part 2, especially if I could actually manage to freeze him via Mom's Contact. I wonder if Mom's Contact is affected by Luck Up. If so, Luck Up would be pretty fantastic. But, you know, Monstro 2 is going to die in, uh, like, 10 shots there. Another HP upgrade. That's a stat last time I checked, so we will make sure to pick up the Polaroid on this regular Mom boss fight. I don't foresee Mom being able to do too much damage to us at all, unless I somehow find myself like constitutionally or physically incapable of dodging the foot. I am huge and angry right now. The Northern Lion story. I'm actually a fairly diminutive young chap, I would say. Uh, let's kind of move. Ah, I knew the hand was going to get me there. It's like the only thing I can't consistently dodge on this fight. There we go. Mom's dead. We get an HP upgrade. I thought no Polaroid dropped for a second and I was really freaked out. In any case, it is now time for us to go down to the next floor. So far, it's been real easy. Don't blame me, man. Blame Ben Barube, which again, is just a, if that's your real name, it's a really great name. It's not the first time I've ever heard of the, you know, the last name Barube or Barubi. Uh, but it just kind of rolls off your tongue with the alliteration on the first name there, doesn't it? Ben Barube. It sounds like if like I didn't speak the language, I could picture that being in some kind of like uh, Caribbean reggae song or something like, Oh, Ben Barube. That might be really offensive. If so, I apologize. I mean, no disrespect. And now that single hook will be stuck in my head for basically probably the rest of my life, actually. Um, these guys are going to die easily. Uh, let's make our way up here, and we will probably come across the boss room at some point, but sadly not here. Two keys to open a golden chest as well as a bomb is kind of a tall ask. We got a bomb back and a little bit of money as a result. Definitely not worth it. We need to make sure we save at least four keys for the chest. Which, you know, not to get cocky, but it's looking pretty likely uh, that the chest is going to be in the cards for us. I mean, we're doing so much damage with each shot, especially considering we're one-shotting enemies that normally take, like, five or six shots sometimes. Uh, that should give you a clue to, to our damage, but also don't forget that we have Book of Belial uh, that we'll be able to use starting now, basically. So, let's go fight whoever we have on the wound part one here. I kind of feel bad for them, to be honest with you. We just one-shot a single blast assist there, which is... I guess it was the, the second phase of Blast Assist, but still, uh, which makes it weaker. It didn't even get a chance to go down to the Silkworm phase, it just like immediately died. And we are continuing to one-shot like every single phase of it here. So far so good, Blast Assist isn't really a, a challenging test for us regardless, but you know, it's nice to have kind of proof of concept that Book of Belial is going to help us out a lot. Uh, now, I would very much like to take Guppy's Paw, but it is not a stats upgrade. Normally, I could probably justify this and be like, oh, you'll just pick it up and use it and then put it back down, take Book of Belial. This time, I think I'm gonna stick like 100% pure to those conditions that I set for myself earlier. Uh, otherwise, we would probably uh, just like be unstoppable because we would get what? We have eight heart containers right now, so we would have 24 spirit hearts combined with like permanent Polaroid invincibility. I don't know if anything could actually stop us on this run. Uh, and now watch me, like, lose on this floor due to my cockiness. Like I said, man, that's the, the fatal flaw of a run like this, is getting too cocky, uh, skipping over advantages in the interest of what you think is fairness, uh, and then finding yourself dead just by being a big ding-dong, basically. So I'm gonna hope that these guys are eventually gonna take a jump kind of closer to me. These enemies, I think, need to be kind of buffed out a little bit in the, uh, Rebirth expansion or, you know, DLC, reimagining, remake, whatever you want to call it. Uh, because right now they are probably by far the easiest enemies we could deal with in here. You know what? I say it's time for us to go fight Mon's Heart. We are here already. Now, obviously, uh, I'm going to pop Book of Belial on this fight. And obviously, I'm going to try not to take any damage. Oh my god, I froze my own bomb! That was actually really bad. Uh, in freezing my own bomb, it didn't blow up the crowd or the uh, enemies here. And then I ended up taking damage as a result. That was super weird. I don't know if I've ever seen that happen before. I didn't even know you could freeze your own bomb. I thought you could only freeze enemies. In any case, we really need to not take very much damage here. Uh, because we need as much health as is humanly possible to carry us through that uh, Isaac fight that's going to be happening very, very shortly. Mom might be. Yes, she is continuously firing bombs. Which is good because that means we won't have to take care of that last zombie in all likelihood. She's frozen. She's dead. We get a heart which compensates for the one that we lost. But still... Uh, feeling a little bit dire 
from a health standpoint. We could probably easily beat Isaac with this amount of health, but of course, you know, we don't just want to beat Isaac, we want to beat uh, Blue Baby, which is going to be a bit more of a stretch for us. Now, when all three of these guys get going at the same time, it's the worst thing ever. Oh, I almost got hit there by being a big idiot, but that's okay. Only one of these dudes is left. Thank you, by the way, for Mom's contact. Some very convenient and uh, well-timed freezings there. Almost as precise as a dentist or something, if I was going to make the worst analogy ever. Alright, that's bad damage. I really... Oh my god, it hit the neutral fly. Okay. One hit on each of these guys makes them, presumably, a lot easier to deal with. But, it's got to be pretty precise. We end up picking up a half heart. Doesn't necessarily compensate us for what we just lost. Uh, but let's hope that we can just avoid taking so much damage in the future. And hey, you know, this, the other silver lining here is that there is a tinted rock. So I will definitely blow that up. We don't really have a lot of bombs, but we probably don't need bombs uh, to take out Isaac, so that's okay. So, ended up picking up a single spirit heart there. Not as much as I could have hoped for, potentially, but uh, I'm still psyched about that regardless. I realize Book of Belial uh, is kind of primed and ready to use, but it's something I'm going to be staying away from until the boss fight, because I don't want to accidentally find myself without it for the boss fight, which would drastically lower my chances of success, probably. Right now, I'm, I'm feeling like we've got like 85% chance of success on this Isaac boss fight, so I don't want to play around with that. That could, uh, you know, modify somewhat as we either lose or gain health on the way to the boss fight. I'm assuming that that boss fight is going to be fairly soon. Believe me, I'm very tempted to use uh, the Book of Belial on this room, but if I can just end up fighting a single greed, then I shouldn't have much excuse to be hit, if that makes sense. If I could just fr Oh my god, I can't believe I got hit by him anyway. We got the steam sail, fantastic, just in time to be totally useless. Again, though, it gives us a sweet kind of tag on the side of our face, which is kind of cool, I guess. In the... and by kind of cool, of course, I mean not really all that cool at all. We're just gonna use a bomb and get the F out of here, because I'm pretty positive I'm gonna take damage if I continue going down that road. And it was... Uh, a dead end regardless. Now, I am dodging like crazy. Sadly, not hitting many or any enemies, though. It's okay, though. Let's play it cool. Duh! Oh, I got hit by Gish there. That's kind of embarrassing. There is kind of like an intersecting matrix of bullets here, though, that makes this fairly difficult to dodge. Please move to the left. Oh, you're going to move to the right. Okay, what a dick hole. Still definitely have enough health. Seriously, like, Greed is owning this floor. He also ended my last run, so I'm being a little bit, uh, shall we say, melancholy towards him right now. So we've reached a dead end, unfortunately. I think this is as much health as we started the floor with. Obviously, we lost a spirit heart along the way. Uh, and I, I still think four and a half hearts is going to be enough to beat Isaac, but... You know, it's not a guarantee by any stretch of the imagination here. One-shotting these angel fetuses makes me feel... Especially, like, without Book of Belial, one-shotting these angel fetuses makes me feel a lot better. Because uh, that should make the fight a lot better. We're just going to save this pill for later, just in case, you know, it ends up being extraordinarily handy at some point. Now, with these guys... Uh, with these... Oh, I got hit by a random neutral fly! It's just, like, floating around the middle of the map. That's what we in the business call fucking bullshit. Oh, my God. And now I'm taking kind of a sad amount of damage. It's okay. One more hit on this guy. And we're gonna basically hope against hope that this is a full health pill, I suppose. I almost walked into the fire there. Oh, hopefully you never know how close I was to walking in the fire there. You probably look at it... You know, you saw the, the footage and you thought, oh, he was pretty safe. Not at all! That was like a 90% chance I walked on the fire. I was not paying close enough attention. Okay. So, the, the problem here is that the bombs from the horse can interact with the, uh, well, the head that we just killed. But, which could have caused some issues for me. But, for now, no problems. Horse will die in a couple more hits. Creep will dissipate. I was really hoping we would keep it frozen until it died. Uh, one more hit should be enough. Nope, two more hits. Okay. Still, like, a very, very strict flow of red hearts, apparently, so far. Uh, we're getting down to the point where I kind of need to pop this pill just to hope it's a full health pill. You know, what are the odds of that? Probably about mm, 1 in 12? It's not a horrible, you know. I've, I've succeeded at things with worse odds uh, fairly frequently in this Let's Play, actually, because, you know, we are dealing with... Oh my god, why did I walk into that? That's a damn good question. Um, we gotta take the pill. It's tears down. Obviously, that's not really what I was looking for. Uh, we can still make this run work, but it's kind of coming off the rails a little bit here at the end. Maybe this is a full health pill? I really don't want to risk dying. 
So I'm just gonna try to shoot the pill out. Um, just play it cool. Almost hit myself there. Even if I have to use every bomb to get this pill out, it's better than losing my life, you know? So, let's toss it in here. There we go. We got it out. Please be a full health pill. Or balls of steel. Tears up. Well, alright, let's give this the old college try. I'm reasonably confident we are gonna die uh, with style here. <laughs> Each hit is not doing nearly as much as it needed to do, but in any case, uh, I tried. At least it was a quick run. I, I always like those runs. But like I said, you know, it, the, the difficulty ramps up so quickly that uh, you can easily find yourself woefully underprepared. Probably should have gone for the uh, guppy's paw, but, you know, that might have been flying in the face of the conditions of the challenge run. As always, thank you to Ben Barube for that suggestion. Continue suggesting your own challenge runs. I will do the ones that are most entertaining or appropriate. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.